Alright, hey everybody, Liam that's Game here and welcome back to another episode of Unturned. So today we're going to do the vehicle guide for all the Kuwait new vehicles. We're going to talk about each of them in detail and I'm going to tell you guys which of them have anything in particularly special. But uh, yeah, so if you guys want to see more Kuwait videos, let me know, comment down comment section below. Tell me which is your favorite vehicle from this new update and yeah, make sure to drop a like, let's try to reach 100 likes. Subscribe if it is your first time here, and if you guys are interested to win a free mythical, the link will be in the description below. And yeah, let's just get straight into it. So, the first vehicle, we're gonna go over this, which is the sedan. Now, this vehicle comes in different colors, I just happened to spawn the black one. Uh, this car cannot be locked, just like in Elver, you cannot lock this vehicle. It is a 4-seater, the space is 5x3, and this is a very weak weapon. You could use literally anything and you could just break it so it's not you don't need high caliber you could just break it with me at least any weapons and yeah that is the sedan just a normal vehicle nothing too special with it but yeah next we're gonna go over the sand spitzer now this is basically a sandpiper but it is a four-seater unlike the real sandpiper that we have on pei it's a two-seater this one is a four-seater and the third and the fourth seats are over here on the wing of the plane it is so cool i really like it imagine like you're about to go and raid a sky base and there's two people on on the wings shooting dragon fangs that's very cool um so this sand, sand spitzer can be locked it is a four seater as we just talked about it starts just very small it is only two by two and it is very weak as well you don't need high caliber to break it you could just use any melee Next, we're gonna go over to the Orca. Now, this Orca is a military helicopter. Obviously, it can be locked. It is a six-seater. Its space is six by six, and you need high caliber to break this. So, if you, you know, you can just break it with anything. Okay, so next, we're gonna go over to the Humvee. Now, the Humvee is another military vehicle. It can be locked. It is a four-seater. It comes with a four by four trunk space, and you also need high caliber to break this vehicle. Next, we're gonna go over to the tank. Now, the tank is another normal tank, but it comes with two extra seats. And in tanks that we have in PI in Washington, it is just a two-seater, just the driver and the gunner, but this one comes with two additional spaces. This comes with a missile, as, you know, any tank. And basically, its storage is also pretty small. It is a three by two storage space, and obviously, you're gonna need high caliber to break this vehicle. Next, we're gonna go over to the truck. Now, the truck basically comes in with different colors. I just happened to spawn the olive truck. There's like three other different colors. And uh, yeah, so this vehicle cannot be locked. It is a six seater. It has a pretty big storage space. It has six by six. And in terms of damage, you could just break it with anything. It is a normal civilian vehicle. Next, this is the police car, or as in the files, it's called a police stallion. Now, the stallion, this one, and then there's another stallion back there, which we'll talk about later, are the fastest of the vehicles. They are the quickest vehicles that were added. This is a police version. It is two-seater. Uh, storage is 4x4, four four, and it can lose health from melee. You could lock this one, um, and they are actually pretty fast, as you guys will see. Like, I would just keep it going. It is a pretty, pretty fast vehicle. They are the fastest vehicles. So next we're gonna go over to the police truck. Now, you could break this with anything. It can be locked. It is a six seater and its storage is six by six. It's just a normal truck. Pretty, pretty cool truck, um, but uh, yeah. Next, now this vehicle is probably my favorite. This is called a Dune Slayer. Now this vehicle, it can be locked. It is an eight seater. It is four by two storage. Doesn't have anything special till now, but this vehicle you don't lose fuel as you guys may see you don't have fuel you just have a hard health bar and then you just have a engine and another cool thing about this is that you could drive it on water it is basically an apc it's like a floating vehicle but you could literally drive it on water so that is the dune slayer now for this you need high caliber to actually raid it you can't break it with a knife i wasn't even getting like you know like like an animation of hitting it or something and um yeah that is the dune slayer next we have ourselves the land explorer now this comes in different colors as well this one is just a normal vehicle it cannot be locked it comes in different colors it's a five seater five by four storage and it can lose health from melee it's just another civilian vehicle next now this one 
the Stallion. As I mentioned earlier, this is the fastest vehicle, and as you guys may see at the bottom, it has like a like a neon light. It is very cool. Uh, this is just the pink one, and it is a <laughs> it is a very very fast vehicle. It just vanished into the water. But yeah, that is the Stallion. It is a two seater, and the storage is three by three. I can't really show you now, but yeah. Next, we have the oh now we have the boats. Now these two are the only boat vehicles that were added. They are very, very cool. This one is called the Album. I don't know how to pronounce it, but Album, I think. Uh, it is a 10-seater. Fan seat is on the tip of the ship. And basically, this cannot be locked. It don't. You don't need a battery to actually drive this. Unlike all of the unturned vehicles, you don't require a battery to drive this. It has a 5x5 trunk storage, and you could basically break it with anything. It is made out of wood, and it is very, very weak. Next, we have the final vehicle, which is called a Sun Bulk. Now, this is a 9-seater, it cannot be locked, and you don't need a battery as well. And its storage is the biggest storage that we have added from this new update. This vehicle has the most storage in it, as you guys may see. And basically, it can be broken by anything. So yeah, those are all the new vehicles guys, I hope that you guys learned something from this. If you did, let me know which is your favorite vehicle, as I already mentioned, mine is the pink stallion, it's very cool. And uh, yeah, thank you all so much for watching, I hope that you enjoyed, I appreciate it, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!